Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm happy to join you here today. It is the 22nd of December, 2016, and it is the first day of winter, officially. Had an excellent day yesterday with the flows that we received from uh, the soul of the winter solstice and the summer solstice. They gave some wonderful information. I went back and listened to it again and said, wow, very, very enlightening in many ways. So it's been actually a very good uh, experience. I also feel lighter in general because we finally made it through the, uh, in the northern atmosphere, finally made it through the days of most darkness and now starting to move in towards light. And for me, being a spiritual uh, associated person, a person that literally physically likes a lot of light, um, you know, I actually feel it as the, as the earth uh, in the northern hemisphere has more and more uh, darkness, it impacts me. So for me, it's actually a, a big blessing to have this conversing back to light. And so today is day four or five of self-healing through serving others. And I've uh, seen a lot of very positive response, both in the, in the gratitude to be able to so offer our service to others, which is truly hugely important, and in the, <coughs> um, the self-healing that is occurring. And it is directly related to the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah, who has brought to us the very simple foundation of deep forgiveness and deep love. And by applying those two and moving towards a place of selflessness with our thoughts, words, and actions, we're actually healing ourselves. Um, the secret that was revealed yesterday, that that's because when we serve others, those souls are so appreciative, they shower upon us gratitude. Gratitude is virtue. Virtue offsets spiritual debt. Therefore, we get better. So it's a simple understanding, and yet one that has escaped the mass of humanity for far too long. And so now it's time to bring this wisdom back to humanity, and you are its messengers. <clears throat> so by doing service every day to serve others, um, and it can be, you know, total unconditionalness has no attachments to it. That means I just want to serve others, and you just chant to serve others. Now. Uh, we have been working with let's chant to serve others on a specific condition you choose your condition and then we're chanting to serve others um, and that's close to unconditional service but we have a bit of an attachment to the results so eventually the next step is to just simply chant unconditionally and so let me go ahead and acknowledge all those that are jumping in today uh, welcome Shannon Griffin welcome Johannes welcome Petra Marie and CJ welcome Tawana Teresa uh, Teresa Brown, welcome Kristen Rojas, and welcome Archana. Good to see you, Judas. And um, also, Pat's joined us. Welcome, C. And uh, welcome, Kathy. And JR, good to see you, JR. Kristen, thanks for the update. Hope you can make most of it. Welcome, Tammy. And Yvonne, good to see you. Hope your back's doing a little better consistently with this chanting that you're doing. And so we've got an excellent start for today. Facebook is getting actually much better since we started this live stream. I see them doing things to make it more efficient and uh, speedy, if you will. And so um, I see actually that it brings you into this live stream much, much faster. So thank you right up front for um, your sharing of this live stream by hitting that share button. It, uh, yesterday we had 60 shares before the end of the evening truly uh, awesome because it allows more people to be able to serve others uh, and as a side effect to bring healing to themselves <clears throat> so I was checking in prior to um, coming live uh, checking in with heaven you know what uh, what structure would I follow today that is uh, any variation from the last couple of days in this service orientation and one of the things I heard was that we're going to do a little self-service also a little self-healing also I'm going to be using a mantra today that I don't believe I've used yet in fact I'm 100% sure I have not used this yet on this live stream on Facebook you if you're a dedicated student of Master Shah probably will be familiar with it but when we do this one mantra together in a group it will make a significant difference for you regardless of the blockage area 
I'll give a little teaching on it as well. So um, welcome Tatiana. <clears throat> and so let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. I've got my warm tea today. Hopefully that'll make a little bit of a difference. <clears throat> and, um, and then we'll go ahead and invite in all the holy beings. So let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. They're all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source. Dear Creator, dear our individual heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, we honor you, respect you. Thank you. And I bow down to you. We invite all beings of the light side, serving the plan of the light side, <coughs> including stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. All lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, kahunas, all masters, ascended masters, all angels, healing angels, all Buddhas and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary. We invite you all to please join us at this time. We ask that you come to sit in our heart centers. Bless us all to open our heart more. Bless us for our individual requests. Uh, but mostly bless us that we can be a better unconditional servant. That when we do our service today, that others are very positively impacted. That their soul journey, their suffering is shifted. That we can bring more light to this planet. Please awaken our soul, hearts, minds, and bodies to our real purpose for being here, our soul purpose for being here. Did the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, we honor you, we appreciate you, and respect you. We ask you to please turn on. <clears throat> we ask the source soul song to turn on in every soul in our body. And we invite all souls in all universes to turn this source soul song on and to join with us. Everybody here seems to be a veteran, so let us chant together for one or two rounds and fully connect. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo I wo shin erling, wo I tran ran lay. Wong li hing rong, her mu shir shong. Shong I ping on her she, shong I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I run, run, lay. Wong me hing rung. Her musher shung. Shung I ping on a sin. I Ping on I love my heart and soul. 
I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 好，好，好 ，Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. So again, welcome to everybody. Welcome Ari.、Uh, welcome Pamela. Welcome Leon.、Uh, welcome Tawana and everyone else that I have not acknowledged. I for,、uh, please forgive me.、Um, grateful to see you all. <coughs> so I'm going to offer a little teaching、um, on what is called a jiao. There is a mantra we'll be chanting shortly、uh, that that vibrates and brings healing to the jiaos. Now there are three jiaos in the human body. Welcome, Chris. There is the upper jiao, which is from the、um, the heart center upwards. There is the middle jiao, which is from the heart center to the navel, and then there is the lower jiao, which is the navel to the bottom part of our torso, where the where the、um, the huian, the anus, the perineum, that. Okay, so lower jaw, the middle jaw again is between the,、uh, the belly button and the、um, chest plate, right behind our message center. That's the middle jaw, and the upper jaw is up here. Now you want to think of this as a huge area of space, and science has already discovered, and it's been validated spiritually speaking, that our body is actually only one percent matter; the rest of it is space. The rest of our, our body is actually space, and one of the reasons that、um, we have blockages in our relationships, in our finances, in our physical health and well-being, is because of the、uh, blockages in the energy and matter, which is the energy between the matter, so energy in the space, and the shen blockages, which is soul, heart, mind. Soul, heart, mind is our soul, our karma.、Uh, the heart blockages are selfishness,、uh, lack of love, lack of forgiveness, and mind blockages are negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs. Oh, that'll never work. Oh, I don't believe that. Okay, negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs.、And、these all create、um, shen qi jing blockages, karmic blockages. And those karmic blockages in our body reside in the matter and in the energy, and they carry messages—the messages of the of the、uh, improper thoughts, words, and actions towards others—and that creates a blockage as a whole in the entirety of our vessel. Now, <clears throat> the energy body has a flow; it has a momentum. And ancient traditional Chinese medicine says that that when energy flows. That、uh, healing follows. So when energy is moving, blood is moving. Okay. So we know that energy precedes matter, but what precedes energy is soul, and soul therefore is the is the carrier of all of our uh, excellent uh, deeds, thoughts, words, and actions, and our not so pleasant thoughts, words, and actions. And these bring the blockages to our energy and matter, as just indicated. So we want to move the energy and matter, and we must do that first by transforming things at the level of soul. Okay, and so that's why we do practices of forgiveness and love to transform these spiritual uh, uh, limitations and blockages. <clears throat> When we do physical-based practices or chanting and mantra. What we're doing is we're addressing, we're addressing the energy and matter using the four powers: body power, which is where we place our hands, and I'll be showing you that when we do this healing mantra. Sound power, which is the mantra itself. It carries a vibration. The vibration rattles the energy and matter, and if it's a high enough frequency vibration, then it alters the vibrational frequency of that energy and matter that is supporting the blockage. So that's two of the powers. The third power is visualization, which I will give you that also, and the fourth power is the soul power. So when we employ the soul power, what we're doing is we're connecting to the、uh, 
the soul of the energy and matter in our body, the soul of the negative messages, negative thoughts, selfishness, etc. And we're working with higher frequencies to transform them. <coughs> so, <coughs> these three jowls in the body tend to have a great deal of sediment and debris. So if you imagine, if you had a bottle of water and in there was a lot of dirt and you're constantly shaking it, then the water would never be clear. There would always be something keeping you from having an enjoyable, clear, fresh water. And it's the same thing for a clear, fresh life. It could be that there's relationship blockages, there's mud in the relationship. If it's financial blockages, there's, there's dirt and mud there. What is the dirt and mud? It's the karmic blockages. So these reside mostly in our space of the human body. And the energy uh, is, is where that space is. The matter is the cells, the larger cells, the smaller cells, the organs, the systems, etc. That's the matter. The space in between is the energy and so forth. So when we are doing practices to um, create the higher vibration, higher frequency, then it's the equivalent of, and you've heard me use this visualization before, it's the equivalent of pouring in fresh water into the top of your vase. Now your vase might have dirt floating around in it, but if you keep pouring fresh water in, it's going to stir out the dirt and eventually that water will become 100% fresh. That's what happens when you self-clear the karma. That's what happens when you do practices of what we're doing. You're clearing out the crud. You're removing the old messages. You're bringing in new messages of love and peace and harmony and whatever else we might be chanting. So the blockages reside in the lower, middle, and the upper jowls. You want to think of them as rivers of energy. <clears throat> so the upper jowl, being from the chest plate up, carries a lot of blockages. Those who have neck blockages, those who have migraines, those who have eye blockages, those who have lung blockages, heart blockages, uh, there, that means that there's a lot of restriction, a lot of energetic um, uh, consolidation, if you will, in the area. And not to divest too far, but a simple teaching that Master Shah has brought to us is that Excess energy represents 85% of the physical ailments that we that are happening on the physical body. The energy and matter is not converting in in uh, in uh, balance, and the energy converts to matter. Matter converts back to energy. This this happens at the universal level. It happens in our body, but when it's not converting at a, a simple uh, energy to matter conversion, then we have excess energy that creates major things: tumors headaches, migraines, pain, inflammation, all forms of, of those kinds of suffering. Insufficient energy shows up in the form of other maladies that might be called, for example, fibromyalgia or um, uh, osteoporosis, things of that nature. So excess energy, insufficient energy. The practices, what we're doing is we're moving the energy in its entirety. So we're bringing balance to the insufficient and to the excess and we're causing it to bring about balance again. So the practice we're going to do for self-healing, okay, so the phone's already locking up on me. Got to heal the phone. So I'm healing my phone and the Wi-Fi because it's locking up on me. Happens almost every time we do this frequency gets so high okay thank you to the soul power that allows this to get fixed in seconds so um, as I was saying when we are doing uh, practice to uh, with the four powers what in essence we're doing is we're clearing the blockages between the energy and matter so that they can remain in relative balance so the upper jaw if you have blockages with the head the neck the the, the lungs the heart uh, that means you're the energy in the upper part of your body, the upper jowl, is consolidating. It's not moving. The middle jowl, this is also related to the heart, the, the liver, and uh, all the intestines in the upper area, including the gallbladder, pancreas, spleen, stomach. And the lower jowl, which includes the, uh, the lower GI tract and uh, the kidneys, uh, uh, the um, sexual organs, all of this, there's blockages there, also associated with the lower back. And so when we have a consistency of blockages, 
One of the reasons why is because we're simply not moving enough energy in these areas. So we're going to do a practice. This practice is very old, uh, well over 5,000 years. And the mantra itself is very old. And one of the wonderful things about an old mantra is it carries huge power because mantras, just like anything, span lifetimes. And all those who have chanted in all time, including all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, all holy beings, if they've chanted that mantra also, then they come. So it's a calling tool. A mantra is a calling tool. So by chanting this, many, many holy beings come. We're already going to call them forth and ask them to assist. Um, but at this time, uh, I wanted you to know that basic foundation of this. Now the mantra is called Wong Ar Hong. W-E-N-G. Wong. 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 Say it with me. Wong. Again. Wong. This is for the upper jowl. Okay? The middle jowl R A R R <coughs> and then there is the lower jowl which is the word hong H O N G hong repeat hong wong r hong now when we chat this we're going to do it all in one breath I'll give you an example in a minute. Wong ar hong, all in one breath. So that is your sound power. Now each one of these sounds uh, reflect to a specific part of the body. Wong, when we change to R, it's vibrating the middle jowl. When we change to hong, it's vibrating the lower jowl. Okay, so that's the sound power. For the body power, we're going to place our palms one over the other about six inches apart and the lower palm will be at approximately the belly button height. The upper palm will be about six inches above that just below the heart center height. Okay. Now this will be the position that we will use. There is another position but because you're not in person in a group I don't want to go into that position. This is the safest position here. Okay. Um, when we chant Wang Ar Hong, we're going to visualize as much as possible the three colors, red, white, blue. Wang Ar Hong, red, white, blue. So the mantra is Wang Ar Hong, we visualize red. R, we visualize white. Hong, we visualize blue. Okay? So with your eyes closed, let's do one practice. Place your hands in the appropriate position, one palm uh, over the lower abdomen, right about the belly button height, the other one about six inches higher, just below the heart center. Close your eyes, and we're going to do one or two practices of this. Whoa. Did you chant all in one, one voice, Wang Ar Hong, all in one? Were you able to visualize red, white, and blue as you did that? One more chant. Let's do it again. Wang Ar Hong. Excellent. Ninety percent of you got it right. <coughs> the rest <coughs> will happen with practice. The last part is soul power. And so we're going to invite in the soul of all the holy beings. <clears throat> so again, let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. And repeat after me. Dear the soul of all of the holy beings that are present, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Could you please bless me to clear the blockages in my upper, middle, and lower jowl. 
as I chant the mantra Wong R Hong. Thank you. Now remember, everything has a soul, including this 5,000 year old mantra. So we're going to connect with it. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of the ancient mantra Wong R Hong, I love you. Could you please bless me to clear my blockages? Thank you. And then we do a quick forgiveness practice. Continue to repeat. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to you in this or any lifetime, I deeply and sincerely apologize. I am dedicated to be a better person and a better servant for all souls. I sincerely ask for your unconditional forgiveness. And I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for any harm that you may have brought to me. <clears throat> okay, so now let us place our hands in the appropriate position. One palm over uh, at the belly button height, the other palm about six inches higher. Close your eyes, visualize, place your feet flat on the floor, bring your back away from the back of the chair. You want as much uh, space and nothing restricting this practice. For those of you that you can stand, it's not a bad idea. You'll have even better flow. <clears throat> if you cannot, don't worry about it. Also, do not make yourself uncomfortable. If your back hurts, better to be against the chair relaxed. With your eyes closed, let's begin. All in one breath. <clears throat> Whoa. red, white, blue. to chat. Visualize the red, white, and blue. You chant silently, I will chant aloud, but still chant silently and visualize. Each 
of the areas is clearing its debris. Om your shoulders keep yourself relaxed <clears throat> start chanting out loud again Om. Om. as you change the mantra move the vibration through the three parts of the body Om. that have just joined us place your palms one face up at the belly button lever the other face down uh, below the chest plate and chant with us focusing on the red white and blue in the three areas upper jaw middle jaw lower jaw continue Whoa. get lost in the mantra. times. <clears throat> Red, 
white and blue. your eyes closed, connect with your body. What is it that is happening for you? <coughs> Do you feel energy moving through your body? Do you feel vibration? Do you feel open? Is your breathing better? Do you have more energy or are you more relaxed? Please share. Interesting. So Petra Marie says, first of all, I wasn't comfortable to visualize the red color. White color is best for me in the chest. Um, the vibration is very strong and harmonizing. Tammy says she's feeling more relaxed. Kathy says she's feeling vibration. Uh, for everyone, this is exceptional. For Kathy, based on uh, my working with you, this would be excellent for you. I suggest you do it 15 minutes a day minimum. Nina says, uh, thank you, Kristen. She's feeling tingling. Uh, silver cards left her body. Wonderful. Welcome, Ben. Teresa says she's feeling vibration is really strong. Vibration from head to toe, says Tawana. Uh, Roshna says feeling energetic. And so you will find that there's a variation. This is like a cup of coffee in the morning for a lot of people without the caffeine rush, but you definitely get the awakenedness and um, you, you, there's not as much lethargy. Uh, if you do it before you sleep, you will sleep like a baby. Um, this is truly excellent. If you have trouble sleeping, do this, okay? You will sleep so well. Um, waking up, why does it work just as well for sleeping as for waking up? Because energy is moving, blood is moving. If you're having trouble sleeping, that definitely means there's a, there is a, a kidney to heart imbalance, a fire to water imbalance. The fire or water meet in the Ming Men point in uh, the back of the, the, the body. I can't give you where the points are right now, but the energy when it's moving, the fire and water is becoming balanced. Therefore, you'll sleep well because there's no blockages. Same thing for waking up. You'll be a lot more clear as a result. Felix. So Chris, continue to chant. If you do have pressure in the head, that means what's happening is it's going up, 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 but it's hitting a pressure point. So um, continue to chant. One of the things you can do, Chris, if you do not have high blood pressure, if you do not have migraines, if you do not have eye problems, Chris, take the upper hand and, and palm upwards instead of downwards and do it for about five more minutes and that'll push the energy around the circle. Uh, Tawana saw golden light as well. Felix said, after hard days, I felt that beautiful energy in the eye of the storm. Great. <clears throat> Tawana, uh, Teresa says she saw more white and some blue, but mostly white. Okay. So this is a, a very ancient mantra called Wang Ar Hong. And one thing to comprehend about a, a healing with a simple mantra like this is that we are first and foremost souls that come into a physical manifestation and in this physical manifestation we are all made up of energy and matter with a circulation of that energy and matter. 
And if you wanted just one practice that will move energy and matter, move the blockages, doesn't matter if you're having a headache, it doesn't matter if you're having a toe ache, it doesn't matter if you're having a condition of depression or anxiety, it doesn't matter what it is. You can do this practice. Now that I've taught you it, I'm gonna give you one variation on the hand posture. I had all of you put your hands like this in the position. Now, the reason I did that was because somebody might come in late and I don't want them to put their hand in an upward position if it was um, incorrect for them. So here's what I mean. <clears throat> and I just gave Chris an example. Uh, so Crystal, good, headache feels like it's going away. So uh, if you are generally healthy, you don't have headaches, migraines, uh, constant migraines, um, no heart problems, okay? and no glaucoma problems, things like that, then place both your palms upward. Okay, one on the lower abdomen and the other one again about six inches above it. That means the energy will flow. If you do have those conditions, always put your palm down. Okay? So, Wong Ar Hong. And Kristen uh, dropped in both a video and the words to that for your future reference. Liz says she came out in the middle of the practice sitting in the car and feeling so much heat and calming and Felix said yes his head is clear so um, very 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 important and practical uh, practice uh, for everyday life I know we have 10 billion things we got to do but if you just wanted one thing that you can remember that's it also meditation how many of you have difficulty getting into a meditation and uh, uh, calming down the monkey mind okay this will do it for you uh, the reason the monkey mind is there and it's going zzz, is because energy is not flowing. Okay, So this is a one-stop fix-all kind of a mantra that will work for just about anybody to help move their energy. And it will absolutely help you feel better. No question about it. Okay, are we ready to serve? Let us move into day four of serving others. We're going to use the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony again. We're going to chant for 15 minutes. We're going to do a forgiveness practice. We're going to invoke the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. And you choose your area that you want to transform. I suggest you continue to choose the same area you chose the last three or four days. Uh, however, um, like I, I saw um, one person had significant back pain. And so if they want to, to you know, test this for something like that, choose your level of pain. Uh, you know, is it a six? Is it a seven? Is it more exacerbated as you move a certain way? And then chant to serve others for that specific condition. But generally speaking, we want to stay on the same page for what we've been chanting for, especially if you sign up for the 21 day challenge, uh, because that's the best way to measure it. Okay. And do yourself a favor before we get too far in this. If you have signed up for the 21 day challenge, mentally, emotionally, or by writing I'm in, then I want you to make notes of the measure, measurability of this condition you chose. If it's a physical uh, thing, what is my mobility? What is my pain levels? What is my blockages? You know, um, is it causing me to, to not be able to sleep well? Uh, I roll over at night and then I can't get back to sleep, okay? Um, if it's a relationship thing, find a baseline. You know, our communication is very, very blocked. He doesn't listen to me. Whatever it is, you have to have a baseline so that when you look, 21 days later, you can measure it, all right? Okay, so <clears throat> let us connect now. Everybody place their hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We're going to do a forgiveness practice. Dear Divine, repeat after me, Dear Divine, Dear Tao, Dear the Source, Creator, my name is, state your name three times, <clears throat> Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I am... Um, very, very grateful to be here today to do this practice, to serve others, for I know that I have created great suffering for the condition I will request, and I wish to serve others so that they do not suffer as much as I have. Dear all souls in this and all lifetimes, I know that you have suffered in the area of 
continue to repeat, dear all souls in this and all lifetimes, that I have harmed in the area of, so choose, is it physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, financial relationship? Choose. If it's a specific relationship, a love relationship, then you would say something like, if I have harmed you in relationship, especially lying to you, let's imagine that was the major condition, especially breaking your heart, let's imagine that was the major condition, you comment just like that. Please, please, please forgive me. I am suffering of the same condition, and I am clear that I have caused this suffering upon you and potentially others. I deeply, deeply apologize. I ask that you join me today as I chant to serve you and others that have been suffering in the same way. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. And I offer you and all souls my unconditional forgiveness for any time they have harmed me. <clears throat> Dear the source soul song of love, peace and harmony, continue to repeat. Transmitted to every soul in my body, the souls of my organs and systems, my cells and cell units, my uh, spaces in my body, my energy uh, chakras and energy points. I love you. You have received this song of love, peace, and harmony. Please turn it on and chant with me to offer our unconditional service to all of these souls. And now we're going to start chanting. Remember to visualize millions of souls that have the same suffering you have coming together in one long line, one after the other, millions of them. Accordion, all of them together into one person that's reflective of all million people. Blessings to their heart center or to their specific body part, golden light, as we chant. <coughs> Remember when we chant, we do it with all of our heart and soul to serve them unconditionally. <coughs> Let us begin. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Oh,我爱我心儿灵，我爱春暖泪，望灵融，耳目雪霜，双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. And for those that are just tuning in, uh, Kristen has posted on the timeline the words, the PDF to download the words, and the words to download the song for free. Let us continue. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tran ran le. Wang li hing rong er mu shi shang. Shang ai ping an er xie. Shang ai ping. 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in Erling. Oh, I trod red lay. Only he grown her musher song. Song I ping on a say. Song I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in Erling. Oh, I trod red lay. Wong Li Hing Rong, her musher song. Song I ping on a say. Song I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in Erling. Oh, I trod red lay. Wong Ling Rong, her musher song. Song I ping on her she. Song I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, 
la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xin er ling wo ai chuan ren lei wo li ying rong Er mu shi shang shuang ai ping an er xie shuang ai ping an er xie I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts And souls together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Repeat after me, dear every soul in my body that is currently chanting love, peace, and harmony. Please continue to chant 24 hours a day, offering your service to all souls unconditionally. Dear the souls in my body related to my suffering of the condition of, and state your condition. Please chant for all of those souls in humanity. That are suffering from the same condition. Please rest whenever you need to rest, but continue to serve as much as possible. Do a good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So please share if you have any、uh, experiences from this chanting today. And while you're sharing, I want to advise you that in about an hour, I will be chanting again.、Uh, for those of you that are not familiar, there is a 24 hour chanting channel that is dedicated to serving humanity. Literally, it was started years ago. There are 30 trillion heavenly beings that have been assigned to serve through that chanting channel. There are well over 200,000 requests. For healing blessings that have been placed on this chanting channel. And、uh, it's more about going there to serve and you receive healing, but you can absolutely request healing. It is、uh, one of the desires of Dr. and Master Shah to serve as many souls in humanity as possible. And this is why so many、uh, holy beings have been assigned to this channel. What is very unfortunate is so few people know about it. The address has just been put in the chat bar. Kristen dropped it in.、Uh, it's tb.drshaw.com. Please go there. And for the entirety of this month and into the 10th day of next month, there is chanting 24 hours a day for love, peace, and harmony. And if there is a, a divine channel like myself not chanting, then there is other chanting that is occurring. Healing blessings teachings. And so it is an excellent place to go because the minute you turn on that TV station, the feng shui field that comes out your monitor changes the room you're in. There is no darkness that can remain in your room when that monitor is on. It's not possible because the light that emanates from it is extraordinary. So it is a free service, one that you should, would be very wise to turn on to anybody that you care about. Anybody that's in the hospital, anybody that's sick, anybody can benefit from this. You want to leave this channel on 24 7. That means you're getting blessings 24 7. Go there, request、uh, blessings, but also chant to serve others. I will be coming there for my hour of service at,、uh, a little bit after four because I've got to run after this and go、uh, pick up my wife, come back, and、uh, come on for the chanting channel.、Um, So, it is an excellent opportunity to serve. 
And so happy birthday to Petra Marie Lennon. Uh, beautiful uh, birthday blessings for you, I'm sure. Uh, if you haven't already signed up for the New Year's blessings that Dr. Master Shah is offering, again, as a complimentary, go to his website, drsha.com. The first banner you should see is a beautiful gold one. And you click on that banner, it'll take you straight to the registration page. It's complimentary. It happens uh, in different time zones, uh, 9 o'clock in, in Hawaii. It'll be 11 o'clock in Pacific time. It'll be about... Um, noon uh, in the Eastern time zone and etc. And but sign up for that because it's going to be an exceptional opportunity to receive New Year's blessings. Blessings so you start off the New Year's on an uh, important foot. And so thank you all for your sharing today. Thank you all for your love. Uh, if you have not already said I'm in for the um, 21 day challenge, let me know. I'll put your name on the list. That goes on my altar and you'll be receiving blessings. Um, continue to chant. Remember, if you haven't already chanted your 15 minutes twice a day of love, peace, and harmony and done a, another forgiveness practice, be sure you do so. All right? Uh, Nina, um, blessings for your turtle. Namo Amitofu, 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 Namo Amitofu. Your turtle is very blessed. <coughs> okay. Love you, love you, love you. Come back tomorrow. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. Thank you, all the holy beings. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Liz, you just signed up. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.